Morning, ladies and gentlemen. Virgin Worry here. Hope you guys having a fantastic day. Hope you guys had a super awesome weekend as well. And so, as we go into our lesson today, I've got to ask you: Did you take time out to study? Make sure you study. You study. You must study. We must study the word. And then also, we know we are in um, reading through revival, and it states that the church greatest need. Would you agree with that? Would you agree with that? And we know the solution to the earth's issues or my personal issue your personal issue the solution is jesus christ and he state for god so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but should have everlasting life and that is john 3 16. let us go ahead and bow for prayer that kind of gracious and father i thank you for this beautiful day right now i ask you that you will decrease me so that you'll be increased is my prayer in jesus name amen amen I'm in a, um, on grandma's duties today, and so it's an, it's a, it's a blessing um, when you could um, be with your grandchildren, and so I, I, I consider it a great privilege to be a grandmother and um, able to uh, help and spend time with my grandkids. And so let us go into, let's see, um, chap, uh, scripture reading is coming from Mark 2. 16 mark 2 16 and it reads and when the scribe and the pharisees saw him eating with the republicans and sinners they said unto his disciples how is it that he eateth and drinketh with republican and sinners mm. may the lord add a blessing to the reading hearing and the doing of his words I was going to go outside, but the gardener's out there and he's cutting the grass, so that's a lot of noise. So I decided to come in here and I asked my grandchildren to just be quiet for a moment. So there we go. I have some a beautiful, uh, three, uh, two beautiful grandsons right now with me and they're very obedient, very obedient, and I really appreciate them. And so let us go into, so we did the scripture reading, now we're going to go into the topic, and uh, this is chapter six in the year. True Revival, and it's the same author of The Steps to Christ. It's the same author, same author, same author. So save only in Christ. He will save me now. And it states, the perishing sinner may says, I am a lost sinner, but Christ came to seek and to save that which was lost. He said, I came not to call the righteous, but sinner to repentance. And you can find this in Mark 2, 17. I am a sinner, and he died upon Calvary's cross to save me. I need not remain a moment longer unsaved. He died, he rose again from my justification, and he will save me now. I accept the forgiveness he has promised. And uh, for those of you that have the book, I could look at selective messages um, at paragraph 1, page 392. And it says, he who repents of his sin and accepts the gift of life of the Son of God cannot be overcome. Let me repeat that. He who repents of his sins and accepts the gifts of life of the Son of God cannot be overcome. Lay hold by faith of the divine nature, he becomes a child of God. He prays, he believed. When tempted and tried, he claimed the power that Christ died to give and overcome through his grace. This very sinner needs to understand. He must repent. He must repent of his sin. He must believe in the power of Christ and accept that power to save and to keep him from sin. How thankful ought we to be for the gift of Christ's example. Let me repeat that. How thankful ought we to be for the gifts of Christ's example. So that concludes our topic today, Save Only in Christ. Uh, that's the, the, the title for chapter six. However, this particular part is uh, we are talking about, he will save me now. He will save me now, okay? So tomorrow on Tuesday, we're gonna go into why worry? Why should I worry, right? Why should I worry when I'm a child of the king? So here is my uh, song. Uh, Savior, teach me. Savior, teach me day by day. Love, sweet lessons to obey. Sweeter lesson cannot be loving him who first loved me. 
with a child glad heart of love at thy bidding may i move prompt to serve and follow thee loving him who first loved me teach me i am not my own i am thine and thine alone i missed my part dying to keep to rule to save from all my sins that would enslave here's the fourth verse love is loving finds employ into no in obedience all her joy ever knew that joy will be loving him who first loved me here's the last verse teach me thus thy steps to trace strong to follow in thy grace let me go here learning how to love from thee loving him who first loved me isn't that beautiful teach me thus thy steps to trace strong to follow in thy grace learning how to love from thee loving him who first loved me isn't that beautiful that is so beautiful 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 and so with that my sister my brother so tomorrow we're going to go about go into why worry that is our topic for tomorrow so that concludes our topic today see very easy very simple so we as individual god's word is very simple our child can understand his word but we as we get older and we grow up we say mm, i can do this on my own i'm a big girl now i can do it on my own i'm a big boy now i can do it on my own and we cannot we cannot we got to be as that child knowing that we have to um, depend fully on the god on god to save us let us bow for prayer the kind of verses and father i thank you for this beautiful day father i thank you for my sisters my brothers that stopped by today Continue to be with each one of us, Father, and give us the love that we need for one another. Continue to bless us, Father. If there's anything that we have done that was not pleasing or acceptable in your sight, we ask you, Father, that you will wash us whiter than snow. We just thank you, thank you, Father, for loving us, for sending your Son to die on Calvary's cross for us, Father. Take these empty vessels, fill us up, Father, fill us up with what we need to do for you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Is my prayer in Jesus' name, amen, amen. Okay, my sister, my brother, can you guys do me a favor? So if this was a blessing to you, can you just hit the like button? You can make a comment, and then you can also hit the share button, and then you can follow me over on YouTube as well, and it's under Burdell Worry, and then hit the subscribe button there. So thank you guys so much, and with that, talk to you guys tomorrow. Be blessed and take care.